Oh, so good. It's a choir. Hey guys, welcome back to another new video of Derek Reacts. Back at it again. You're right, La Vie Dermi. Yes, with the Daniel Levy and Ko Won Sung. Yes, I'll be doing a double reaction, guys. Um, I'll be reacting to the original one and actually a cover, a cover of the same song. And this is a Patreon request, so I can't wait to get my hands on this, guys. Um, I haven't, I don't do this often, so this is gonna be a first for me, I guess. Um, uh, you know, in in, in this regard. Um, I haven't done this before. I've done a, I think a trio, um, and I've done Dimash and Lara Fabian, but this will be a first. Can't wait to see what, you, they, what, they, what they've got for us. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. Makes videos like these all the more possible. And also to come over to follow me and like me both on Instagram and on Facebook. If you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. I also have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like these all the more possible. Guys, if I go bananas for both of them or just one of them, who knows? Who knows? Maybe both. Maybe we just one. It's going to go directly on my Spotify. Be sure to follow me there. Derek Reacts link in the description down below. I have some merchandise for you all. Check it out when you get a chance. Derek Reacts store or custom tees, designs. Inspired by you, created by me. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's go. Oh. Oh, God. I like his voice. Wow. This is beautiful. C'est tellement cool. I love the little um those the little elements that are that are kind of like interweaved into the song. By the way, if you hear the bass, I'm I'm playing very close to the instrumentation. There's a like an, an entire um, orchestration behind him. Um, you're getting all these different types of strings from different instruments, but the bass is so good. The way it breaks down and comes in, you get those nice drums. Everything just being fleshed out really nicely, and then you're getting kind of like somewhat of a clarinet coming in there every now and then. The chorus is money. His voice is great. I love this song. I love this song. It's just. It's so good on the ears. I can picture Celine Dion sing this for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why I can sing, I can picture Celine sing. It, it kind of has those elements, those elements that she tends to do with her with her with her voice um, and in songs. Uh, I don't know if it's just the structure. Maybe it's the structure. I don't know. But let's continue. Lots of song left. And then you hear the... Oh, so good. 
this a choir? So subtle. Guys, I think this is the song that made, I may learn French. I may just learn French by this song. I think I did the entire chorus there without even noticing a parole coming at you. Amazing song. It just lifts you up. Lifts you up. It's a, it's a lifting. has a lifting effect to it. And you can thank the choir too. The choir. The choir adding that, that nice element in there. Who says you cannot learn languages by singing? Proof is in the pudding, guys. Proof is in the pudding. I'm 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 a living I'm a living result to that living result to that, just a little bit. If I listen to this song, a couple times, I'll probably be able to pick up the language so easily, so easy, so easily. Um, I just I just want to I want to sing it I want to sing it. It just sounds so good. It sounds so good. Um, let's continue, guys. This guy has a great voice and he's very very talented. Very very talented individual. This man. The demo for the demo. Wow, my friends. experience to be able to see this um see the video and also uh hear this song i'm gonna go on a limb and say it um at times i was getting i uh, getting kind of like those uh very kind of like kind of christian type of vibes you know those those christian songs um nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that but it has those lifting elements very very lifting very very lifting the song title to this is called the desire to love the desire to love so um, it has it has kind of like that that um, kind of like churchy churchy feel, but it's it, it, it's feel good guys. It's feel it feels good, um, and I think that's the point of it. I think that's the point of it. Um, so uh, let's continue talking about this. You know, it's interesting, guys. I'm gonna have to go over the lyrics with my second direct, uh, sec second reaction because I've got another reaction after this one, um, a cover. Because I have all the lyrics in French, and I was singing along, looking at them, and I'm like, oh my god, I don't have the the English uh, translation. But you know what? Guess what? I'm learning. I'm learning the language, guys. By the way, this song charted number two in Belgium, French French SNP singles two as well, and in Swiss singles chart twenty. Very, very, very good on the ears, and it's very, very catchy, very catchy. It's a very well-structured song, very well-structured song. We'll go over the meaning and everything after my second reaction. Let's see um, what Mr. Goen's song has uh, for us, because he's got a, the, this bar is really high. This bar is raised really, really high. Um, I have faith in him. I have faith in him. Let's continue, guys. See, see you next for that one. Wow. Beautiful. 
Yeah, the bass, so good. Amazing control. Nice. Beautiful! That is how it's done, my friends. I don't know who I like more, the original or Mr. Um, um, uh, Ko In Sung. I don't know who I like more, but he's he has an amazing amount of control, guys. Amazing amount of control. I upon further research, guys, I had said in my last reaction that I thought it was very churchish. The Ten Commandments. This is a song. <laughs> the Ten Commandments. So yes, indeed, yes, indeed, I was right. I was right. Um, but you know what, guys? Who, who, I mean, does, regardless, regardless if it's religious or not, it's a beautiful, well-made song. Well-made song. It's very, very singable. Very singable. Um, it's good on the ears. It's, you enjoy it. You enjoy everything about it. Um, and even in the chorus, too, the way it comes in. And this, my friends, this, gen, this, this man right here, he is slaying this thing. He's slaying it. Slaying it. Amazing. Amazing. Let's continue. Base. <laughs> Come on! Amazing, guys. Amazing, and it's going to be approved. Back to back. Amazing. This is a great song. Great song. Um, I want Dimash to cover it. <laughs> Dimash and Celine. Um, I, wa I want them to cover this. This is a great song. Great song. Um, and it's so good. And his, this man's voice is amazing. It's, it's amazing. He has a nice little... His vibrato is very, very good, and his his his, his um, apparatic tones are very, very good too. He's got them. He's got them. Um, he's got that voice, guys. He's got that voice. Very, very similar to Dimash in that extent, delivery wise. So there you have it. Lovely instrumentation with the piano, the keys, um, the bass, just like the original. It's it's almost to the T, almost to the T. Except that this is live. This is live, guys, and they're slaying it out of the park. Let's continue. Oh, so hush. Oh, nice, nice. The vision vie, the puy la nuit. 
secretos se salud Oh my god Oh my god, he got it, he got it, he got it, he got it my friends, he got it. I'm going to quickly fall in love with this song um, upon listen after listen, it's just one of those songs, you just love it uh, after listening it more and more. Um, and the uh, the amazing, all I can think of, I mean I love his performance, I love his singing, all I can think about is Dimash. I can think about all they can think of is Mosh, and I'm like, I want him to sing this. I know he can slay this thing. I know he can. Oh my god, I'm such a fan. I'm such a fanboy, guys. I'm such a fanboy. Oh. So let's get right into it. Um, let's get right into it. Uh, oh my god, oh my god. It's a 2000 song recorded by uh, Daniel Levy, and uh, the group The Ten Commandments uh, released his first single from his album um, this, of, the same of the same title. On June 2000, the song was a smash hit, the most successful single from a musical. The song was currently among the biggest selling singles of all time in France, by the way. If you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> if you guys haven't, I mean, it's so freaking catchy. So freaking catchy. The album version of the song is extended to 628, and it contains many choirs from the drop, uh, written and composed by Pascal Obsipo. Uh, Lana Fl Florence, and already uh, several number one hits friends such as uh, Savar Amel and Tu No Me Pas, La Si De La Tem. Uh, Serge Gu Guirao uh, had written in Art Mango, and the, art, uh, the song was very moving. An expert of French charts made analysis of the song. With the text of the verse spaced out and almost minimal, uh, Levy murmurs, he speaks in a low voice and then sings hardly on moderation with such sweetness of the wind instruments that blows him. And it's not due to the lack of voice. This one is disturbing power of color. Asks only to spread uh, out the vowels of the tunes and there for this. They're both great um, songs. You saw what happened. I gave my approval to both uh, versions, um, to Levy's and Sung. But Levy has a much more softer approach. Soft approach. It's very, very fleshed out. He adds all of those choirs and stuff like that. There isn't much choir. I don't think there was a choir in uh, Sung's uh, performance at all. So, uh, th th missing that little part, uh, it just, I don't know, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for, for choirs, you know that. But uh, for, for purely his voice and his performance here live, you got to give it to him. You got to give it to him. It was really, really done really well, really done really well. Um, it reached number one in France, but it went straight to number two on June 10th, 2002, and stayed there for six weeks, being unable to dislodge. Yeah, next hit, uh, Cesaris La. Um, the song remained for 30 weeks in the top 10 and 51 weeks in the top 100, which to date was one of the records in terms of chart trajectory. In Belgium, the song peaked at number two for six weeks and fell off the charts. Um, uh, to date, this is one of the most 47th selling single of France. Uh, in 2001, the song was awarded original song for the year Victories de la Mousse. So there you have it, guys. I mean, a smash hit, smash hit everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Um, let's see who covered this. Many covers, guys. Eric Morena. Same year, uh, Julian Serac, uh, Patrick Flori, Catherine Lara, uh, Leonel Floyd, and Les Enfros. I don't know who those are. 
Celine Dion. Oh my God, get the flip out of here. Celine, uh, 2002 released um, an English version under the title "The Greatest Reward" on her album "The New Day Has Come." Oh yeah, yeah. I got I gotta see that. I gotta see that. I gotta see that. Oh yeah, yeah. 2006, the song was also used as soundtrack for the film um, "Comete y Bill. Uh, and then also uh, Nikos Algogas uh, recorded a Greek, a Greek, um, a Greek version of the song uh, by Elena Paparasu. So then, and Rondo Vos from the album Rondo Vos. So there you have it. Oh my God, guys! Oh my God! I'm going bananas, going bananas. I like the song. I like the song a lot. Um, let me know what you think about this. Uh, this was an interesting um, kind of like double, uh, double uh, reaction. Um, for this song specifically, but there you have it. Until next time, for more fabulous videos like these, guys, take care. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also, take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And guys, yes, I have a Patreon link. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. Alright guys, take care. Love you guys. Peace.